This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. Commonwealth Bank continues to maintain strong capital and liquidity ratios. However, bank executives are cautious about the prospects for 2014 as there has only been a small improvement in the economy. We continue to share our success with our shareholders. As Mr. McFall mentioned, we have in excess of 6,000 shareholders and we paid out $29.5 million in dividends. And again, we should note, all of that money stayed within the Bahamas. None was remitted outside. In other business news, the Central Bank of the Bahamas is celebrating 40 years as the national institution mandated to promote monetary and financial stability and develop the financial system that would support economic growth and development. It performs several unique functions, including the issuance of Bahamian currency banker to banks, banker to the government, management of the country's external reserves, oversight of the payment systems, administration of exchange controls, and supervision and regulation of banks. The bank will commemorate this occasion through a series of events to be held over the course of the year. And in international news, the International Air Transport Association has said the global airline industry's profit forecast for this year has been cut amid fears over China's economic growth. The trade body predicts airlines will make $18 billion in profit in 2014, lower than its $18.7 billion that was forecasted in March. It blamed concerns over the Chinese economy's performance and a slowdown in the world trade for the downgrade. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly.